Here we go. Here we go. Put that here and here. And finally, here we go. All set. Hello, today I'm here to show you the cooking mechanics in this game. Now, you may be thinking, Oh wow, cooking! How hard can it be? Just listen, noob. Nothing in this game is easy. And I don't know how long you've been playing this game, but you may already have noticed three outcomes that will happen when you decide to do something. One, you fail at what you're doing, and you give up and never do it again. Two, you fail at what you're doing, but then you decide to keep going under the delusion that you may somehow make it someday. You won't. Three, after much hard work and with all the opportunities you're given, you finally succeed at failing. Good job, game complete, uninstalled game, you have better chances of succeeding playing Battletoads or something. So cooking in this game is not like Cooking Mama. There's no hand holding, there's nobody to tell you that you did a good job. And instead, you get an onslaught of compliments on how well you are doing at failing by other players in a chef class. Cooking uses a variety of skills, equipment, and ingredients in order to turn something like peas into the orgasmic dish known as pea salad. Trust me, those pea peas are delicious. As I'll be demonstrating, I'll be using most of the essential skills and items needed in order to cook and make a dish so pleasing that only my mom will ever love it. So first, we're gonna need some ingredients. So, I got sugar, spices, and everything nice. Sadly, I'm missing one more ingredient, but not to worry. If everything goes to plan, I'll have it soon enough. Until then, I'm gonna get my broccoli, equip my knife, and then use the cut skill on it. Sadly, my cut skill is pretty low. If it was any higher, it would be much faster than this. Okay, now that that's done, I'll get a pot, fill it with water, and then using this stationary item called the stove, we can use its fire elemental properties to heat up the water. And then at the same time, fill it with water, get this ingredient called rice, and then just put in the water, and then start using the cook skill on it. So sometimes when you're cooking, it usually requires you to wait, and that's what we're doing right now. So for me to pass the time, I usually just practice working on other skills, like my stabbing skill, my punching skills, and my guitar playing skills. Yeah, I'm good at cooking, yeah, I'm totally good. Okay, now that the rice is done and the water is boiling, time to get the broccoli. Alright, oh, drop that. Just gonna pick it up and... Oh my. Oh god, oh god. This is a weird game. Why did the dubs... Good thing this is a game. Okay, that was terrifying. Good thing this is just a game. If man, it would be so weird. And oh look, I got it. This is just this is just what I was looking for. Raw meat. This is my last ingredient, and this is what I need for the last dish. Okay, back to where I was. Just take the broccoli and then just put it in. Then use the cooking skill, and there we go. Okay, and then. Okay, th this is just ridiculous. Why did the devs, why don't the devs just make it so then, <coughs> so then that, he just disappears right away. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna equip my mallet and then start using a pound skill on it. There we go. Taking this nice and slow, so I don't destroy this. I mean, you don't want your meat to explode, right? Get some salt. Combine the other stuff. There we go. Then we get a pan, put the meat on, and start using the cook skill on it. Now you may have noticed I would always use an offensive skill before I start using the cook skill. And the main reason why is because the cook skill is dependent on the durability of the item. So the lower the durability, the more effective the cook skill will be. 
So yeah, that explains why I was pounding my meat. You know, I like my meat nice and soft. Okay, so with everything done, now it's just time to use the plating skill to finish everything off. And here we have it. This item is called Meet You in the Rice Fields Brock. Don't know why it's called that. Uh, I feel like the devs wanted to make some kind of racially comedic remark here, but yeah. Okay, so this item is probably not the best item I've ever cooked, but it has a lot of recovery effects. It's not too bad, and yeah, I mean, it, it's probably fit for players who are somewhere in the levels of 15 and 20. So yeah, overall, it's not too bad. What the hell? That thing is raw! Total garbage! You know what? Just, I'm just going to I don't see that crap! <sighs> I guess it's time to start playing Battletoads.